Sul Sul, my name is Charlie and you're watching my channel Charlie Says Sul Sul. Welcome back to part 5 of Practical Magic. It's been a while since we checked in on this family uh, because I posted part 4, took a week off, then we had um, a week of all new Let's Plays um, that are going to be joining the rotation with this one. So Practical Magic will alternate Mondays with uh, Harry Potter. So yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Um, I think that you probably have missed the Owens a little bit. So we're going to jump right in. I think today we are going to test out a new mod that I have. Well, it's not new. I've had it in my game for a while. I just haven't used it. But we've been trying to get Francis hooked up with someone. I have a mod that is called Simder. It's like Tinder, but for Sims we're going to hook her up with someone on a dating app. That's what we're going to do. And I think it'll be nice too because Jilly's aspiration is serial romantic. So she's got to eventually go on another date with Paka. But um, we also want to see what we can do about getting her some other romantic opportunities. So here we go. We're going to get right into it. Let's start gameplay. All right, it is 9.06 in the morning. Jilly's got work here in a little bit. She's a bit hungry. Um, Sally's good. <clears throat> Jet is good. Sally's just out here in the cold. Girl, what are you doing? You, It's winter and you are wearing a tank top with no coat outside playing chess. What huh? are you doing? I don't know. But Jet, I mean, um, Francis. Huh? let's get her to go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna try to find a gentleman suitor for Jet. It's gonna be awesome. We'll keep her hungry just in case maybe they wanna go to a restaurant. Give her some privacy. We'll check in on Sally for a bit. Oh, great, she's taking the garbage out. How nice. And then um, Jilly's eating, but I think she's gotta go to work. Yeah, she's gotta go to work pretty soon. Ooh, she should probably, oh, she's gotta reach level three writing skill before she gets promoted. All right, well, not enough time to do that right now. What's Bridget doing? Oh, she's shoveling the snow. Someone made a snow angel and now she's shoveling the snow. That's nice. Well, you didn't have to stop on our account just because we're watching you, Bridget. All right, are we good? Yes, she's getting herself a drink. Oh, you alcoholic. Come on, Franny. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to do a little social. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Simda. It's Simda. Simda dating app. So here we go. I've never used this before. This is the first time. I hope there aren't glitches. Okay. Specific date. Looking for someone special, something serious, then this is your the right choice. Blind date, adventurous, open-minded, curious. Choose this if you want yourself to be surprised. Female blind date, male blind date, one night stand. Enable hookup calls. <laughs> Sign up for the hookup call service. Other Sims using Sim to dating app can contact you to meet you for a quick hookup. Um all right. Well, I don't think we're going to do a hookup for Francis. I don't think we're going to do a one-night stand. Uh, we can do a male blind date. We'll see what this pairs us with. Do we get to go on the date? I'm hoping that we get to go on the date. Oh, here we go. Let's find out. Okay, this is... I think this is Arthur... Ooh. Is this Arthur Gibson? Otherwise, it might be Mr. Feeney whose name is, no, it's George Feeney. Um, I'm not sure if this is Arthur Gibson or George Feeney, but this is what the Simda dating app hooked us up with, and I'm not upset by that at all. Uh, let's see where we can go. Let's go somewhere we haven't gone yet before. Let's go to, let's just go to Luke's Diner. Those of you who watch Gilmore Girls or have watched Gilmore Girls, Luke's Diner is a staple in that show, and I have it in my game, so we're gonna go to Luke's Diner. Because a diner would be good for breakfast, which is, you know, it's brunch. Okay, let's check us in. Who is it? It's Arthur Gibson. Okay, so Arthur Gibson is, um... Oh, he just changed his outfit. Did he just change his outfit? I was looking away from the camera. Arthur Gibson is a sim that I created. Oh, there's my grandma. Um, 
a sim that I created, he has a daughter and um, a dog. And he is a teacher. At the time of recording, uh, which I'm recording this on October 26th, we don't have university yet. Um, but Arthur is a teacher. And he'll be a teacher when we get the, the game. Where are you? Where are you going? What? Are you kidding me? So we just went on this blind date with Arthur Gibson, and he's out here talking to this other broad. What? Okay. Well, we're supposed to be romantic and stuff. So let's first brighten his day, and. We're going to ask about his day. We have to socialize. We have to ask him if he's single. Hopefully he is. We're gonna talk over here. We're just outside in the cold. All right, we wanna, f we wanna flirt with the date a bunch of times. <laughs> Ask him about his day again. Flirt again. I want to get a better view of these guys. Oh, good. Okay, so we, we've socialized. Let's sit and talk. This is our table. Can we, like, sit and chat here? Are we gonna come sit down? Well, then sit here, Franny. No? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like musical chairs. Okay, Arthur, sit down. Great, okay, now we're both sitting. We have to flirt some more. We have to discuss interests. We'll get the romance up a little bit because, you know, we want to get it up enough that we can kiss and hold hands and stuff. Well, they are pretty hungry. Let's order some food. So let's order for table. What are we going to get? What's, what's on this menu? All right, so we'll get milk for... I bet you Arthur likes milk. We'll get some... Coffee for Francis. I'm kind of like brunching it right now. Let's do a croissant for Francis. And sausage and peppers for Arthur. Okay, we should be good. We're supposed to joke with our date. So we'll tell a dirty joke because that'll also help our romance, I think. We're supposed to hold hands. Is that an option we have yet? There's kiss hands. Hold hands. Great. And then first kiss. Excellent. We're going to totally get a prize. I don't know if it works the same as a normal date where you get like a prize if you reach gold or something. So we, oh, they're having their first kiss. Wonderful. We are supposed to tell him a story. Tell an engaging story. Okay, we've hit gold. Now all we have to do is just sit back and enjoy our meal. We've done all the work. And their relationship is going up pretty well, too, so that's exciting. I'm not sure if if she'll end up with Arthur, but, I mean, now she has a bow. What's, she's a, oh, she's a serial romantic, too. We probably should just pin this down and ask him to be our boyfriend, since later on in the aspiration, we're going to have to have, like, multiple boyfriends. So we may as well just catch him while we can. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Alright, we'll sit together. And we're supposed to have deep conversations with our date. Even though we've already met the 
the goal, we'll just keep going. What are we at with the aspirations? We have to go on two dates. I don't think that the Simda dates count. I think that they have to be like regular game dates. He's an orderly at T-Pose Ours Medical. Cool. Well, I think that he's a teacher, though. He's going to be. Oh, we've got our food. Great. So we will drink this and eat this. Not clean up. We want to eat it. Oh, she's already eating. Okay. I love when they have, like, an entire meal and they're eating and drinking at the same time. That actually looks really good. I'm super hungry right now. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm filming this in the morning, and yeah, I'm really hungry. That sausage and peppers <laughs> looks real good. Oh, he's eating it all, though. He's not even going to share with me. Oh, sorry. oh, my grandma is mad about something. All right. Kylie's getting A's, and so Antonia and Kylie are both getting A's in school, so that's awesome. Where are you going? Just going behind the counter like you run the place? What? Where did he go? She should, she should eat some of his sausage and peppers. He, he didn't finish it. Like, we're paying. We may as well eat everything. Yeah, she's super flirty right now. What is this? Hot lunch date from requesting a table at a restaurant. Who's this? I don't know that guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a townie. Okay, so should we pay for... Well, end the meal and pay the bill. Well, this was a nice... A nice uh, date with Arthur. What bad relationships does he have? He doesn't like Lorelai Danes, which is Luke's, like, wife. Um, Luke owns this place, so that's not good. Evelyn, Levy, Nicolette Harris, and Jake Palmer. These two I made. And um, actually, Evelyn, I think I downloaded. Uh, Nicolette I made. And Jake Palmer is from The Office. So he doesn't like those. And it makes sense. If he's a teacher... Jake Palmer's likely a troublemaker kid, so it doesn't surprise me that he wouldn't like him. Let's talk about the haunted house. And then hug lovingly, because we're going to say goodbye pretty soon. And then we'll head home, and yeah, we'll see what, what everyone at home is doing. Great, we got a gold medal. Did this give us like anything in our inventory? No. No. All right, well, we're going to head home. It was nice meeting you, Arthur. Thanks for coming out with us. We'll have to do this again sometime. Okay, great. So now Francis is going to head home. All right, so we're home. Kylie and Antonia are home. Oh, the Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. That's awesome. Maybe we could take Jilly could... Because Jilly needs to... Hold on, let me pause this. Um, I want Jilly to go on a date with Paka, a second date with Paka. Um, she's already had her first kiss with him. Er, Maybe... Maybe we should go on a date with Brandon. Will he accept our date? Let's, let's ask him if he wants to go on a date with us. We'll try one more time. Just because... With this aspiration, we need to be, like, seeing multiple people at the same time. And we've already got something started with Brandon. There's already a little bit of a history there. This is the same place that she asked him out last time, and he declined. Oh, he accepted. Okay. So, we'll see. I guess maybe he's had a little bit of a change of heart. Maybe he thinks that maybe this could go somewhere with Jilly. So we'll go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Where is that? Home to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Okay, so we're gonna go. We can't go there? Why? Okay, well, then we'll have to go somewhere else. Let me find a place. Let's go sing karaoke at Planet Honey Pop. We can do that. And um, maybe she can have her first kiss with Brandon because she does need to have another first kiss. And we'll see how that goes.
Ooh, and it's happy hour at the bar, and we still have snow on the floor. Ugh, I don't know what's going on with this. So let's, um, order drinks for group. We'll do rip your floats. And then maybe we can just sit at the bar and drink them together. Because she has to go on. Oh, we're good on the dates. Who's singing? Leanne Davies. Alright, so Brandon has taken his sweet time coming in. These root beer floats look delicious. Okay. So let's do some romance. We'll flirt with Brandon. Heartfelt compliments. Can we like sit and chat here? Okay, cool. Flirt with your date. So let's flirt. What's this? What did we just get? Oh, achieve, we just achieved level four charisma skill. Awesome. We'll have a deep conversation. We're going to... Oh, we have to become playful at the same time. So let's be funny. We'll do a knock-knock joke. Humor and hijinks would have been perfect for this. We'll do an inside joke. I'm going to kind of ease back into this. Because it was a little awkward there for a minute. You know, Brandon was like, I don't really know where this is going. I don't really want to go out with you anymore. But it looks like he may have had a change of heart. So we can do all of these interactions and hopefully get our romance back up. We will ask him if he's single, even though we know that he is. We'll flirt with him again. We have to do some more funny interactions. We'll tell a joke about ducks. Why is she looking sad? Oh, she's uncomfortable because she's hungry. Let's order food for us. We'll order pita and hummus. So she learned that Brandon is single. We ought to get her some food, though, because she's uh, not doing well. All right, so she's playful. Come on, Brandon. We just need you to get playful. We'll make a flirtatious joke. And we'll flash him crazy eyes. Maybe that will make him playful. Yes, let's call to meal. Okay, let's not. I think that he's from Lost. Is that Michael? Michael Dawson? It is. Yeah, he's from Lost. Come on, please. Why are you not... Just be playful. We're supposed, supposed to flirt with him while flirty. Oh, let's have our first kiss. She's gonna eat the pita and hummus, and then she's gonna. Oh, the sun is coming in and just illuminating my face. <laughs> um, it's morning right now, and I love this time of day because the sun comes right into my office. It's so nice. There's frost on the windows too. It's very cold out right now. Oh my gosh! You okay, dude? Oh my goodness! All right. This is a much better date than the last time. He's not so, like, I don't know, drab? He was just so lethargic the last time we went out on a date. So I think Jilly's like, okay, he might be, because, like, he was playing a little hard to get, too. She was like, I'm not into this guy, and then all of a sudden he didn't want to go out with us, and then all of a sudden she's like, what? And she's super upset about it. So now she's got... Two boyfriends. Are we gonna do that first kiss thing? Are you gonna finish eating? She's almost done eating. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> oh shoot! Paka's here. Oh no! He's so too. What is with this? These serial romantic sims. Because we saw Dean in the last part, like in the Supernatural part, which was last Thursday, had the same situation with Claire. 
so this is not good because we've got Paka over here. What's did his relationship with us? I mean, we still have a pretty good romantic relationship. Uh, that's so sad. He did you see him? He's like, uh, I think I see my girlfriend out on a date with somebody else. So we're gonna quick ask him to be our boyfriend though. Maybe Paka will be gone by the time that. <laughs> oh wait, what before you leave Paka? Oh we already left. What's the relationship like with him? Oh my goodness. Okay. So sorry about that noise. Nathan's getting ready for work right now, so he's jumping in the shower. So Brandon just became the boyfriend of Jillian. Okay, great. So we just need another first kiss. Um, we've got so much time left on this date, and, like, the purpose for me of the date is fulfilled. I'm kind of just using Brandon. But we've got... I mean, we can we can just keep getting our romance up. We'll blow him a kiss. We're supposed to give him a massage. Can we do this? We don't want to... We, we definitely don't want to propose to him. We are not that committal. Off a massage. There we go. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to have them both become playful at the same time. I mean, like, Paka, we'll keep him around, but Paka really was kind of like a rebound fling after her heartbreak over Brandon, even though she wasn't even that into Brandon until she realized she couldn't have him. Apaka's not really Jilly's type. He's so, like, small and kind of girlish. But we'll keep him around because we need him for the aspiration. Are you going to give him a massage? There we go. He's like, thanks. That was a really quick massage. Okay, cool. We got to gold, which is awesome. She's very playful. Her fun level's not the greatest, and she her hygiene is low, so we're going to have her go to the bathroom, wash her hands, brush her teeth. We'll just use the last bit of this date to kind of get her needs up. Oh, yeah, Brandon, you're pe feeling pretty fly, huh? Okay, so maybe in the next part, we'll have Jilly go on a Simda date to get that third first kiss. Um, that would be good because we need her to, I don't know, get this, get this aspiration. Date is almost done. Ten minutes remaining. Jilly's going to spend the entire time in the bathroom primping. Maybe she should, like, give him a hug. Well, she'll kiss him. She can kiss him goodbye. You don't want to kiss him? Oh, okay, he's just going to leave. All right, well, we can head home, too, then. And it says, reward earned, legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household inventory to help remember it. Okay, let's take a look and see what it is. Oh, we've got these things. So we've got a couple of them, because we've had a couple good dates. We will put one right there, and another we'll put up in Jilly's room. All right, cool. We're going to send Jilly to sleep. Oh, she was hungry. There is one more thing that we have to do in this part. And it requires me cheating Sally's needs to do it. I will show you. We're going to Forgotten Hollow. We're going to go see the Voldemort family. Those of you who watched the villains part, you'll remember that Voldemort was mean to Antonia. And that's one way to get the wrath of Sally Owens is to harm her family in some way. So we are going to, is this going to do that thing where, where is she? What? Where, where is she? Okay, great. I thought it was going to glitch and not let us knock on the door. Where is Voldemort? Where is he? We're in his house right now. Where is Voldemort? There's Bellatrix. 
There's Delphini. He might not be here. We were going to confront him. We'll rudely introduce ourselves to Bellatrix. Rudely introduce ourselves to Lucius. And we're going to let both of them know the next time I see Voldemort, I'll do to him what I did to Jimmy Angelov. Your family better watch their back. And then we'll leave. Because Voldemort is apparently not here. He's hiding like the coward that he is. All right, so we have just gone on two dates today. And we went over to Voldemort's house to try to confront him, but he wasn't there. So I'm going to leave this part here. I hope that you guys are enjoying all of them witches and let's play Practical Magic. If you have any suggestions or comments or uh, things that you'd like to see in the game, just leave them in a comment below. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Much love. Bye.